mail time video we haven't done a mail time video we haven't done a mail time video for quite a while sorry for blocking my mic there but i got the package from sa tactical institute today and i'm really excited the reason we haven't done it is because quite rudely i've just been opening the mail i get because i, I get too impatient i just like when i open the stuff and then i don't film a video so sorry about that but before we start off i do want to say huge thanks to the folks over at valve tactical for sending me this really really cool plus four aluminium base plate as well as and i've already opened this you see because i'm i'm impatient really cool really cool tr1 upgrade backpack very very cool and then also a cool cap with a tr1 upgrade patch on it um, they also sent me some new internals for my glock which i've been running for the past three weeks or so they are epic guys if you want to do some functional upgrades to your edc firearm and you're running a glock or a beretta um, check out the guys at balva tactical i will leave them linked down below they they sell and they, they they produce and make available some really really good quality upgrades for your edc this video is going to follow the normal path where I open a package, take a Q&A, open a package, Q&A, do a pocket dump, discuss things, and so forth. Let's take the first Q&A, and then we can open this SA Tactical Institute package. Hi Ryan, I hope all is well. I really love your videos and what you're doing for the EDC community here in South Africa. Thank you for your time and effort. I just wanted to know on a budget what is the one piece of everyday carry gear that you would take over all others if you only had the opportunity to choose one from Marcelo. The one piece of EDC gear, one second. So, Marcelo, that would be my Global Phalanx trauma kit. Um, if we can consider this to be one piece of gear, because I do sell this whole setup as you see it on my website, I would consider this to be the most valuable piece of everyday carry equipment that you could carry on your person. Now, obviously, we do the ease like the firearm stuff and the knives and the, the flashlights and all those things. And those are really very, very important and important to own and carry. But I think if someone would say, what is the most vital thing you could carry in your everyday life, right, your normal everyday life, I would say a properly kitted out med kit is probably the most useful thing you can have because chances are you are more than likely going to use a trauma kit in life than you are your firearm okay and there are alternatives to anything except to this you know if you need a tourniquet you're in trouble if you need hemostatic gauze you're in trouble there, there isn't a there isn't a makeshift solution you know as much as I don't like it, you you could have a sort of makeshift flashlight, makeshift flashlight out of your cell phone. You know, you could you could get by, but if you need a tourniquet, there's not there's not something you can use to get by with. You know, so yeah, my trauma kit is probably what I consider the most important piece of EDC gear that I can carry. Let's open that package. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Do you guys have any idea what is inside this box? So, I had this discussion over the weekend, and I said to my fam, I was at my parents' place, and I said to them, you know, I really need a particular flashlight. And they were like, Ryan, you don't. And I was like, you don't understand. There's this particular brand of flashlight that is what I consider the best handheld on the market. Okay. Cloud defense battery. I'm not even going to bother putting that in because I know they ship completely drained. Nightcore portable battery charger who what company sends a battery charger with their flashlight you know what i mean anti-nd tail cap switches or uh modifications 
but oh yes the cloud defense mch oh yes mission configurable handheld i want to say a massive and i do mean a massive thank you to the folks over at sa tactical institute for hooking me up with what i consider to be the best handheld flashlight on the market right now do you know what this means this means my edc is like complete like a little while ago it dawned on me in order for me to properly review things i have to have the benchmark in order for me to benchmark gear against like my my red dot hollow sun right benchmark that that i consider to be one of the best red dots in the world my firearm glock i don't talk about that my Weapon Wanted Light X300, benchmark. The TLR7 I have, benchmark, right? So when I compare things, I'm comparing it to the benchmark. Do you know what this is going to do for my reviews, to have the benchmark? I consider this to be the benchmark in handheld flashlights. I know a lot of people love Shofi, a lot of people love Streamlight. Nothing against them, right? I've really nothing against them, but I consider the X300 to be the benchmark Weapon mounted light, and I consider the Cloud Defense MCH to be the benchmark handheld. My EDC is like done. When I review gear now, I'm, re I'm putting it up against the benchmark. Oh, I feel like a new man. Hey man, EDC Q&A video. I've watched practically all your flashlight videos and I'm stuck on which one to buy. I'm looking for a all round flashlight compact high lumen can be used for load shedding without breaking the bank i come home at night during load shedding and my entire road is dark what did you recommend from samir samir that's a difficult one right because certain flashlights are good for utilitarian purposes but really bad for defensive or tactical purposes and certain flashlights are good for tactical purposes right but not great for utilitarian let me give you an example, give me one second. These are my load shedding flashlights. I have two Seeker 3 Pros and one Seeker 2 Pros. The Seeker 2 Pro has been like this in my bathroom for the past, I think, two and a half years. Hasn't come out only to charge it every once every like four months, right? These are really good utilitarian flashlights, okay? There's very few flashlights that's going to survive the steam and all the 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 um, moisture of being in a shower, like in, in in the room where you shower, for months, for almost two years, two and a half years actually. So as utilitarian flashlights, I'm telling you now, Olight makes some really really good utilitarian flashlights. Long battery life, great option for umbrella lighting. I keep this one in my bathroom, the two pro in my bathroom. Um, the one Seeker 3 Pro in my bedroom and the other one I keep in the passage. So when, so you'd walk out of my bedroom into our passage and that would be like on the floor umbrella light and you then pick that up and then move it to whatever other room you want to go to. So these are my utilitarian flashlights. High lumen, low candela, but good for home usage. Then you get something like this or something like this, which is what I'm busy testing. The um, Phoenix PD35. This is good for defense, for, for, for um, lighting up your, your driveway when you're coming home. Something with a tail cap operation, momentary on that kind of deal. This is not going to work very well for load shedding when there's no electricity for three hours. This battery is not going to, it's not going to last. Okay, and it's going to get super hot. And these are the flashlights used for defensive application. So... To answer your question, there is no, I don't know of a flashlight that, that can do both. I really don't. Um, I would say you have to invest in a decent, if you want just a utilitarian flashlight, go for something like the S1R Baton, S2R Baton 2. But if you want something that has tactical application, you're going to have to look at two different flashlights. It's, it's the unfortunate fact of the reality or fact of the matter. Um, the hunter that chases two rabbits catches none. The flashlight that tries to be everything does nothing really well. So, 
utilitarian flashlight amazing at being utilitarian flashlight but a terrible edc or defensive or tactical flashlight tactical flashlight brilliant at being a tactical flashlight not that great at being utilitarian okay high lumen high candela freaking insane heat output this thing is not something that you're gonna it doesn't even tail stand okay because it's not meant to tail stand it's meant to be used defensively for searching for things that kind of deal and it has a a, 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 an amount of utilitarian application but it's its main design is for everyday carry defensive handheld pocket dump okay so the sound might change a bit i do apologize in my left pocket the phoenix pd35 that i'm busy testing for review belt core essentials as always um firearm Glock 19, all of red dot, Shofi X300, TR1 upgrade trigger, and um, plus four shoe holster is the Bravo concealment holster with the alias um, clip attachment system that I'm also testing for review. Um, wallet is the Strauss and, Co Strauss and Co crewman. It's on my website. I'm wearing Urban Warrior all the way and the knife that i'm running in this video is this a vivi brigand guys i want to say a huge thank you to ridwan at sa tattoo institute you you don't know how much this means to me like i know these things are really expensive and the fact that you sent me one it, it means a, it means a shitload you know and i always appreciate what you guys do but but sa tackle institute 90 percent of the gear i just showed you is from sa tackle institute by the way um they they bring in some of the most premium gear from the state so go and check them out i'll leave them linked down below huge thanks to the guys at balva tactical for my upgrades and for my um backpack and cap i'm sorry i haven't been op opening that much gear on the channel i don't know i just get excited and i want to like open it already but um i'll definitely be doing more uh mail times shortly that is it guys i will see you on the weekend for a review have a good week be safe train hard cheers god bless